Hello everybody, welcome once again to Top 3 TV Ghana. My name is Jacob Nete. I'm here to update the general public on the top 3 of the most fantastic places in the country, top 3 of the most exclusive products in the country, top 3 of the most gifted and talented people in the country, top 3 of everything that you want to know, you need to know, that you have to know in the country. Therefore, with all humility, when you get on the page when you get on the channel and then you observe and then realize that you haven't subscribed to the channel with all humility i would urge you to tap on the subscription button and after that hit on the bell notification icon so that anytime that we upload a new video you will get the notification or you get a prompting to get on the page to have a view of the videos that we upload on the channel well, what will have you to tell somebody and let that person tell another person the top three TV Ghana. We fly in and around the country. We exhibit a high sense of pro. Professionalism. Now, today we want to talk about the top three most patronized, top three most talked about, top three most voted for hospitals in Koforidia. Now, if you study critically, there are a lot of hospitals in Koforidia that we want to talk about, or you would want us to talk about. Probably you might have visited, wet or patronized any of the hospitals in Koforidia, and we want to talk about the best. The most talked about, the most fantastic, beautiful, and magnificent hospital in Koforidia among the voting, the vetting, and the examination of Ghanaians with respect to the many hospitals in Koforidia. And we want to start immediately from the third on our list, even to the first on our list. Now, the third most talked about, the most voted for, and high ranking hospital in Koforidia is none else but the Stadlon Medical Laboratory. Now, the Stadlon Medical Laboratory was established on the 15th of April 1993 at Koforidia at the Snit building complex opposite the Legion Hall. The identity of the laboratory was conceived by Reverend Dr. Victor Nete and his wife Mrs. Gertrude Nete when they arrived from Germany in the year 1984. As the lab functioned solely, Reverend Dr. Nete was engaged as a physician specialist at the St. Joseph Hospital where he worked for 20 years on contract from 1985 to 2005 when he retired from government service. He then came into the setup clinic portion of the establishment and was ready and was blessed by retired Anglican Archbishop Very Reverend Robert Okine on the 5th of May 2005 for full consultation to again. Their services include a general consultation. Their doctors are available for consultation for the purpose of determining what your ailments are and to advise accordingly. They also do ultrascan examination. This medical test uses high frequency sound waves to capture live images within your body. Their doctor sees problems with organs, vessels, and tissues without needing to make an incision. They also do electrocardiography, ECG. They have the capacity and the equipment that can check problems with the electrical activity of your heart. They also do general laboratory services. They have laboratory that can run tests for you as part of routine checkup or to confirm a diagnose or monitor your health. They do hematology, sensitivity and culture tests. They do seminar fluid tests. They do blood, urine, stool tests. They operate from Monday through to Saturdays. Ghanaians has therefore voted for Stadlon Medical Laboratory Hospital to appear to be the third most talked about, most voted for and high ranking hospitals in Koforidia. Now we move on to the second most talked about, most voted for and high ranking hospitals in Koforidia. It is none else but the Eastern Regional Hospital, Koforidia. The Eastern Regional Hospital, Koforidia. Now the Eastern Regional Hospital was established 
in the year 1926 and it is a secondary level referral facility for the entire eastern regional and also doubtless of municipal hospital for the new job in municipal with over 180,000 inhabitants there have been two major structural addition to it since its establishment the first was in 1972 when an administration block dental unit laboratory department adult opd with medical records internal medicine kids surgical and maternity wards with theater were added in the year 1988 catering main theater x-ray department laundry and mortuary department were also included there has been no major rehabilitation or additional structure since then the 356 bed hospital compared to the 314 in 2004 now serve as a federal point for about 16 district hospital in the eastern region the hospital offers the following services obstructive and gynecology internal medicine including antiretroviral therapy pediatrics surgery dental ophthalmology physiotherapy, ear, nose and throat, laundry, mortuary, primary healthcare services. Regional Hospital Koforidua is a Ghana Health Service facility which is not for profit healthcare organization. They strive to satisfy their numerous customers, both patients and visitors. The hospital was therefore adjured to be the best regional hospital in Ghana at the Ministry of Health. 2013 health award held on 5th november 2013 at the state house ghanaians has therefore voted for eastern regional hospital Koforidia to appear to be the high ranking the most voted for the most talked about and the most magnificent hospitals in Koforidia. now we move on to the best the first the most talked about the high ranking and the most magnificent hospitals in Koforidia. it is none else but the saint joseph orthopedic hospital now the saint joseph hospital is a 216 bed health facility with specialty in orthopedic and traumatology located in efiduasi Koforidia in the eastern part of ghana it belongs to the hospitaler order of brothers of saint john of god a catholic healthcare mission with over 250 hospitals and other health related institutions all over the world the hospital was a established in 1959 by the brothers of the hospitaler order of saint john of god from the castilian province of spain in the year 1960 road construction began the hospital was officially registered and issued with a provisional authorization on the 21st of October 1960, the first medical officer, Dr. Blasco, arrived and the hospital OPD was inaugurated with 25 patients attended. Their mission is to become the center of excellence in healthcare delivery in Ghana and in the sub-region in orthopedic and traumatology. This will be achieved through the well-motivated and committed staff applying best practices and innovation. Their services include medical, general surgery, general practices, OPD services, physiotherapy, obstetric and gynecology, ENT services and many others. Ghanaians has therefore voted for St. Joseph Orthopedic Hospital to appear to be the first, the best, the lasting and high voted for hospital in Koforidia. You might have visited any of the hospitals in Koforidia and you believe that your hospital that you visited was not on the list and you believe this should appear to be the first, the second, the third or the most talked about of all the hospitals in Koforidia. You can keep your comment coming at the comment section. You can follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, on all of the social media platform. This brings us to the end of our videos. My name is Jacob Nett. Stay on and enjoy another talk for it. Bye-bye.